Here's a couple of demonstrations to show you how DrawExact is equally at home making diagrams as well as drawings of things. So let's say for example I wanted to make this diagram based on what we've already got here, but I wanted to make this tree considerably more extensive down at the bottom left. What I'm going to do is first of all move it over to here. Very easy to move things about on the page. Often it works out well to do stuff in the margins and then move it back in. Then I'm going to use the copy and paste facility to grab all of that, plus that line, and I'm going to pick it up from there. Because now I've got that fragment, I could just stick it on there. A very quick and efficient way of extending the tree, but it's too big to fit now. So to, it's very easy to change the size. If I copy it again like that, instead of scaling at 1, I can scale it 0.7, and then that fits in quite nicely. Get rid of that. Now let's look at the rectangles at the bottom. I'm just going to switch to a different tab to remind you of what we're gunning for. It's this arrangement here we're going to try and show how you might draw that efficiently. And I've started by putting in these little tiny bits. And if I copy those, I've now got those floating around, I can ask for nine copies and equal space along this line I've prepared. And which I think you'll agree is quite a quick and efficient way of generating a bit of diagram like that. I've also used in this drawing center justified text so that if I were to edit this one down to being a single digit it stays in the right place. It stays aligned as we would wish. And that's it. I'm not going to try and finish the drawing. I just want to show you those operations to hopefully get across that it's pretty efficient at drawings, uh, uh, drawing diagrams as well. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.